Amnesia, The Dark Descent, short video game review. In 1839, Daniel, a young Londoner who lives in Mayfair, wakes up remembering only those two things about himself, his name and where he's from. He's in a vast Prussian castle, and he soon finds that he wrote a note to himself before his memory went, demanding that he kill the baron of the castle, the politically powerful Alexander of Brennenberg. And as he moves through the castle, it becomes clear that this castle, there's, there's something going on, something supernatural going on. Doors will suddenly blow open from a gust of wind inside, and there are monstrous beings on occasion in, in this castle. This is not a game for everyone. It is a survival horror point-and-click adventure with a realistic physics engine. You can't fight enemies, you can only hide or flee. And there are not a lot of... that there really aren't any difficulty settings or, you know, you don't get a rating at the end of the game. There is more than one ending, but you can unlock them all in your first playthrough just by loading a file from near the end of the game. And this really all boils down to that if you are into the writings of H.P. Lovecraft, the, the, you know, Edgar Allan Poe, Clive Barker, and the psychological horror of the 1963 film, The Haunting, then this is a game for you. This is a game that doesn't feel like a video game, where features and achievements are to take a backseat to atmosphere and mood. Action is rare, and yet the game never feels dull. It's, it's, it, it has a gradual pace, but it, it, it very much pays off. But yes, if, if this does not sound appealing to you, then this is not a game for you. The puzzles are in part based on the physics engine and also the traditional puzzles of find and combine items using the inventory. The inventory, by the way, is the only place where you can really see things about yourself. There is no HUD. The, what comes closest to it is the tiny dot at the center of the screen that shows you what you're pointing towards and thus what you can interact with which, you know, the, the cursor will shift, uh, indicating if you can lift something, pick something up, or, you know, just it, add it to your inventory. And other than that, this, yeah, this, this game does not really feel like you're playing a game. It feels like you are going through a horrifying experience as Daniel, heightened by the focus on the, the unique feature of maintaining sanity. There is a sanity meter which, if it deteriorates enough, you will start to hallucinate. There is a blurring effect, you will see dead bodies, you will hallucinate enemies. Daniel will start to mumble to himself, showing the loss of self-control. and. Th Increasing sanity is done by avoiding the gory, you know, aftermaths of horrible violence that you will sometimes encounter. This is very much a game that that hints, and it doesn't, it doesn't show too much, and it doesn't give too much. It, you mostly find aftermaths, and often not even really that. You you might, you're more likely to find instruments of pain than actual blood and guts, and your, your imagination does the rest, heightened by Daniel possibly losing his mind. Increasing sanity is done by staying in light and avoiding these gruesome messes, but 
light is very finite. You, you find matchboxes and you have a heavily oil-consuming lantern. But the matchboxes, many as they are, can only create static light and you can't turn that light off again. And the lantern, as already mentioned, consumes oil. And oil is rare. And the reason to care about if you can turn off lights again is the enemies, which you cannot fight, can see you very clearly if you are in the light. You have to hide in the darkness and wait for them to give up searching for you. And if they do spot you, run. And they, they will run about as fast as you, and the only thing you can hope to do is get to a door, open it very quickly before they attack you, two attacks and you're down, close the door, and it will then slow them down for a few seconds while they tear through it, or block their path. This will also not slow them down much, or just get to the end of an area. This is very much a game of atmosphere and story, where you are piecing together what has happened at Castle Brennenburg, and why Daniel instructed himself to kill Alexander, and you get to make up your own mind as far as the, the suggestion of this act. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below, it's there as a video response. If not, it'll be in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.